There's a building many people feel do not belong here. Not that it isn't part of New York, it's very much a New York building, but that it's in a residential district of small-scale buildings in Tribeca. This, the Trump Hotel, is an insertion at gigantic scale. There are two opposing theories about inserting new buildings in an old context, and the assumption in New York always, of course, is that new buildings will be bigger. It's inevitable that the city's increasing in density, that's how we're paying for the place. But assuming that the buildings have to be bigger, what should their character be? On the one hand, there's the theory that they should continue the existing character, in the case of the Soho Grand Hotel, masonry, brick, limestone trim, all the details of 19th century buildings. In the case of this speculative apartment house, uh, it's d deliberate contrasted materials, in this case, all glass, floor to ceiling in some rooms. How amazing to live in a place whose walls are glass overlooking the city. At the height of the real estate boom, it was imagined that New York would have to increase its housing for a million new people. The population here would exceed the present crowded state with a million more people. And they would have to, of course, live in brand new buildings. Where would we put all the brand new buildings? It was suggested that they could be constructed over the freeways. They were industrial sites that could be cleared and reused and so forth. And nothing seriously was given to the transformation of New York through the reuse of buildings. The stuff that was built for factory use could be recycled into housing, that there were ways to take the existing stock and see it made new. This, of course, fits in nicely with the idea of the use of existing resources on the planet. It certainly fits in with energy codes, because old buildings tend to be more efficient in their thermal barriers than anything made of glass. And yet, none of this was considered part of our future. These structures not only form part of our heritage, they can be considered part of our economic future. As always, a combination of old and new defines the future of New York.